Hello everyone, today I will illustrate how to add recipe to Omron NS HMI. I am Tom Trin, Senior Application Engineer for Valent Corporation. Let's get started. So what I have in front of you here is the CX Designer that I already launched. So I'm going to create a new project. So I select File, New Project. I'm going to go ahead and select the NS12 and the system version, the 8.5. And I'm going to give it a name, recipe, and I'm going to click OK. I'm going to give it a name for my screen. A new page here. So what I want to do is select data block and then uh, maximize my data block here. And I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to add a uh, data block here. And for now, just going to say recipe. I need to give it a name. Also, I'm going to say recipe one. And let's see how many record I can have as many record I wanted, but for now I give it 10 records. So what I want to do next is to go to the field here. Let's say this is my temperature set point, and this is coming from data memory, which is the register in the Omron PLC. And let's say this data memory is zero. This is fine for now. Click OK. I'm going to add another column here. So I click add here. This one's going to be flow and the data memory would be data memory one. I'm going to add another one. And this is going to be pressure. And let's say this is data memory two. That's fine. I'm going to add one more. And that is, um, so I got temperature, flow, pressure, and I need an alarm set point. As an example, be enough for me. I'm going to click OK here. I'm going to click OK here. So now what I want to do next is to click this copy field name into the field label. And what it will do is it will populate all the field names that I created earlier. So here we go. I got temperature set point, flow, pressure, and alarm set point. I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually I'm going to give it the record label here. And let's say name. Click apply and see how it looks. Now I have the name, temperature set point, flow, pressure, and alarm set point. What I also want to do next is click on the icon and select all of these icons, right? And also all the options. What these icons will do for you are for reading the file, uh, the recipe file, or write the recipe file, or write to the address of the POC that we defined earlier from data memory zero to data memory uh, four for these uh, uh, temperature set point flow, pressure, and the alarm set point. This icon add to the record that basically add the record to the recipe. This one is for deleting the record in the recipe and all the options here basically will pop up a message so that you know you are perform one of these functions okay leave it as far as the icon size 32 by 32 so i'm going to click apply here and now you see all these icons below here so i'm going to click ok at this point actually i'm going to go back and see how it shows only one row here i'm going to say give me 10 rows that looks better i'm going to click ok here i'm going to save this i'm going to test my recipe on my laptop which is kind of cool features that we have on the cx designer so that you make sure that everything is working before you download it to the actual ns hmi so i'm going to click tools i'm going to click test and uh, ask me to save. Yep, I'm going to save everything here. I will start testing offline. I'm going to start this screen here. 
the project file load error data block one yeah because i haven't really created anything yet so that's what we have that error so now here's the what will appear on your uh, ns hmi so to test it i'm going to go ahead and add a record which is this icon here give it a name process one temperature set point would be 102 the flow would be 12 the pressure would be 25 the lamp set point would be at 1110 so that's my first record if i want to write it to the poc i can i will click this and we'll transfer to the poc if i want to save to the memory i will click this icon and it will ask me oh do i want to save it to the memory of the touch screen which is this icon here or if i have a memory card on the hmi i will click the memory card and we'll save that to the memory card so i'm going to try the memory card so it's completed it's done i'm going to go ahead and create another record by clicking on this and now I'm going to go up here. I'm going to say, let's say recipe two. Click enter. This one, I want to run the process at uh, 120. And the flow would be 14. Pressure would be 30. And the alarm set point would be at 130. So that's how you set up the recipe. And you can have a lot more than just five items that I have here for your recipe. You can use these arrow to go horizontally if you have more than what you can display on the screen here. Same thing with these vertical bar, the scroll bar, um, if you have more than 10 records. So that's how you set up the recipe on the, on the Omron NS HMI. And if you have any questions, please call the number below and thank you for watching.